Hey everyone, TJ here. And I'd just like to share something with you that, as a young boy, I recall, every once in a while, and I'm sure everyone had done this, I would fall asleep on the couch. I was just a young boy, and I'm going to say five, six, however old I was, don't really recall. I would fall asleep on the living room couch, and I would wake up at around 2 a.m. I say at around 2 a.m., might be 2.30. I don't really recall. We're, we're, we're talking like 55 years ago, okay? But I would wake up. And back then, the TV stations would not transmit 24 hours. They would, uh, they would cease transmission at around 2 a.m. Back then, we only had three, th three stations, ABC, NBC, CBS. And so I wake up. And what do I see as their final transmission? And I, I don't recall which network it was, uh, so I don't want to say which one. I don't know if all three did it, but I recall at least one of them did this. And the last thing they would transmit was the national anthem. Um, just prior to the national anthem, they would uh, air... Uh, a video of a jet in flight and the narrator would recite a poem by the by with the title of high flight and I always remember I always remembered it uh, it always stayed with me I always thought about it you don't see it anymore on TV not it, this doesn't happen anymore at this time I would like to recite my rendition of high flight. Oh, I have slipped the surly bonds of earth and danced the skies on laughtered silvered wings. Sunward I've climbed and joined the tumbling mirth of sun-split clouds and done a hundred things you have not dreamed of, wheeled and soared and swung high in the sunlit silence. Hovering there, I've chased the shouting wind along and flung my eager craft through footless halls of air. Up, up, the long, delirious, burning blue, I've topped the windswept heights with easy grace, where never lark or even eagle flew. And while with silent, lifting mind I've trod the untrespassed sanctity of space, put out my hand and touched the face of God. That was my rendition of High Flight. It was written September 3rd, 1941. And this may shock you, but the man who wrote it was a 19-year-old by the name of John Gillespie McGee. Most pilots and astronauts are familiar with this poem, though I doubt very many pilots or astronauts are our subscribers. John Gillespie McGee was born June 9, 1922. His father was from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, and his mother was from a small village by the name of Helmingham, Suffolk, which was northeast of London in England. Both his parents were missionaries and met in China. He first went to school as a young child in Nanking, then later in life moved to England with his mother where he would continue his education. And just prior to the outbreak of World War II, he was traveling in the United States. And at the outbreak of World War II, would remain in the United States. He had a scholarship to Yale, but would rather join the Royal Canadian Air Force in October of 1940. June of 1941, he earned his wings and became a fighter pilot for England. November 1941, he would go on a raid, later called Raid on Lily. In that mission, he fired at least 160 rounds of 303 ammunition. Of the four fighter pilots on that escort mission, John Gillespie McGee would be the only fighter pilot to return. 
he would go on three more escort missions for the remainder of November into early December. On 11 December 1941, while on a training mission, he collides in midair. A farmer in his field witnesses the event. He reports that he can see John Gillespie McGee extricate himself from the cockpit of his falling fighter. However, by the time he is able to get out of the cockpit, he does not have adequate elevation, altitude, for his parachute to properly deploy, falling to his death. John Gillespie McGee was buried in Holy Cross Cemetery, Scottbrook in Lincolnshire, England. And I would just like to ask everyone, how many 19-year-olds do you know who could write something like I Flight? I don't know, I don't, at my age, I, I don't think I'd ever produce anything like that. Just a thought. My name's TJ, signing off. As we always say, be safe, watch your six, and don't tread on me.